Neil Doran and Alistair Richardson are biologists and you'll soon see what it is they're looking for. To the end of the tunnel there, another tunnel coming down here. But I've got him already. Here he comes. There he is. Tasmania has 37 known crayfish species, ranging from the world's largest, which weighs up to 6 kilos, to the much smaller Scottsdale burrowing crayfish, which is an endangered species. Unlike most crayfish, which are found in the ocean or fresh water, these burrowing crayfish have adapted over time to live in environments far from water sources. Some are even found on the tops of mountains. This species lives in these peatlands, uh, and button grass grows on organic soils uh, in saturated ground uh, where there's little oxygen in the ground, uh, very few nutrients in the ground. And the role of the crayfish in these ecosystems is to dig burrows through the soil and aerate and drain the soil. In the cool climates of Tasmania, uh, plant decomposition runs quite slowly. Uh, and so both here where we are in northeast Tasmania and also extensively in southwest Tasmania, peats form because the plant uh, production doesn't decompose, just settles into the soil, becomes saturated with water, uh, it's acid, it has little oxygen and plants can't grow in it. And so both here and in the southwest, the whole community to some extent depends on the presence of these crayfish. They really sort of underpin the whole ecosystem behind us, so where you've got here you can just see the, the nice button grass plain, but underneath it is sort of a seething mass of crayfish all working away and churning everything over and turning it over, breaking things down, getting oxygen in, letting the plant roots grow through it, letting other animals live in their burrows. And so they really drive everything that's happening here, but it's all hidden from our sight under the ground. This crayfish gets its name because it is only found in a tiny area around Scottsdale in Tasmania's northeast. Alistair and Neil are employed to check if there are any in areas being considered for development. Its habitat is found in these valleys where the, the um, sedgy grasslands occur and which are attractive to be converted into grazing land and pasture. Now that uh, is often done by draining the soil. Uh, so drains are cut in the, in the ground, the water table is lowered, the water is drained away and with that the suitable habitat for the crayfish disappears too. Crayfish breathe through gills under their shells, so they need water to survive as much as you and I need air. As weather and rainfall patterns change, species that are already threatened may be lost, and those that aren't threatened may become so. This would in turn affect all the plants and other creatures that rely on them. 